Hi, welcome to chapter 15, section 2. Today I'm going to show you how to make and edit a 3D object. What you want to do is first go up to the 3D bar on the top and choose new shape from layer. And there are many many shapes you can choose from. And I'm going to choose the soda can. Now I'm going to rotate it around so I can show you what this looks like in a 3D point of view. Now as you can see it is a plain soda can. It's white, it's plain, it's got no color. So I'm going to change that. Now as you can see on the right, this soda can is divided into two parts. There is the cap and there is the label. The cap represents the bottom and the top parts of the can and the label represents the middle parts of the can. So now I'm going to try to make a different color on the top and the bottom which is also the cap. So to do that I will need to click on cap material and next to the word diffuse I'm going to open texture. Now what open texture does is whatever color you paint on this blank page it will reflect on this uh, the, the, the cap section of the soda can. So now I'm going to color it by using this tool called paint bucket tool. I'm going to color it light blue. And now when you go back to the soda can as you can see the cap is now in light blue. Now still the label part, the middle part is still a bit plain. So I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to paste a already made label which I made myself onto the can. As you can see here, I made a poster called Ice Cola. I'm going to try to paste this onto this. I'm going to wrap it around the soda can. To do that, I would first go down and click on label material and again next to diffuse I will click and instead of open texture I will need to load texture in which case I would browse and find that uh, particular poster which I made in this case it would be cover the name cover and three seconds later as you can see it is now perfectly wrapped around the soda can now it looks a bit dim and it's probably not gonna be a good sale for people so I'm gonna try to light it up a bit to make it more f user friendly to make it approachable to do that I would go down as you can see there are two lights infinite light 1 and infinite light 2 now you may add more lights or you may simply increase the intensity of the lights that would make dramatic effects on the can itself so for light 2 I simply increase it by 2 or more and for light 1 I would increase it by increase it to 3.17 and as you can see it makes a huge huge difference now it looks a bit too bright so I'm going to dim it down just a little bit right here and I said that's a, that's a pretty good amount. Now if you're an artistic person you might want to draw the label on yourself. You might want to make your own design without pasting and not paste a already made poster. So what you want to do is first you would undo to before you paste the poster on. So you need to find a point where you haven't posted a poster yet. There you go. Now you can see it is still again. It's it's white. It's blank. So now you have the entire blank page to draw. And what you would do is first you click on the word diffuse and you come down to here where it says filtered by whole scene and then you can simply choose a brushing tool 
and choose a color let's say uh, green and simply draw now of course there are many many different uh, techniques uh, which you can draw on a soda can for example you may instead of using diffuse you may choose bump and now what bump does is it it uh, is sort of creates well literally it creates a bump or a sinks in into the soda can so it gives it a very uh, authentic design on the can as you can see and that is the section on to create and edit a 3D object.